I think my students are getting dumber, and I'm not doing anything to make it better. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian, and welcome back to my classroom where I'm not qualified to be teaching. But I do know that yellow and blue does not make orange. Mikey, on the other hand, he hasn't quite gotten there. My dear sweet Mikey, how, how? We need to talk about this. Mixing yellow and blue does not make orange. However, mixing red and yellow does make orange, which you knew. You could have just used process of elimination and just thought, you know, if red and yellow makes orange, yellow and blue probably makes a different color. He also knew that red and blue makes purple. So you know what, Mikey? Maybe I was too hard on you. Think it over a little bit more next time. Red and white does make pink. Great job, Jonathan. Red and yellow makes orange. My goodness. And red and blue makes purple. A perfect score. It's Einstein. Th this is this is our future. We're saved. All of my hard work is finally starting to pay off, kind of. <sighs> I've never been more excited to grade papers in my life. Yellow and blue, green. Oh my gosh, that's four check marks we've been able to do in a row. Red and white, pink. Holy cow. Red and yellow, purple. Why, Craig? We had such a good thing going. Until you disappointed me, I will be calling your parents. No, I should probably shouldn't. I mean, you got a B. You did fine. Oh, and by the way, it's a me, uh, your teacher. Listen, a bad Mario costume gets a bad Mario impression. I'd do a better one if it was a better Mario outfit. That's a, that's a lie, because I can't do a better Mario impression. Anyways, let's move on. I just earned $332. I feel pretty good. Let's ask the class some general knowledge questions. How many stripes are displayed on the American flag? I actually don't know. I really don't. I'm gonna have to rely. I'm pretty sure it's not 18. Isn't it like one for each of the original founding colonies? So maybe it's 12? If someone says 12, I'm rolling with that. 11's pretty close to 12. 11 sounds nice. I'm gonna say no. Okay, okay. He's, he's on to them. 50? There are not 50 stripes. Although maybe the question was asked incorrectly. We're looking for, for stripes, not stars. So, okay. No one actually knows. Oh, except for Stuart in the back. 13. That sounds right. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. My elementary school education is all coming back to me now. Zorro is Spanish for which animal? I really don't know. I just know he's the guy who like has the little sword and wears a mask. The masked bandit. I don't know what Zorro is Spanish for. It's not cat. Cat is gato. I know that. I, I do. I do know that. Let's let's try another one. Fox. It could be. It could. That, you know, I mean, like Zorro, the masked Zorro, that's a great name for like a bandit type, like Robin Hood guy. You know what? Give it to me. Oh my gosh. I'm genius. Even though I, I'm just guessing. Dang. Okay, these questions are getting a lot harder. I'm glad that my students are smarter than me. Wait a second. My students are smarter than me? That sounds awful. Let's let's jump into home ec class, shall we? Ch test our food knowledge? Oh, right. Sharpening pencils. One of my favorite pastimes. I'm uh, amazing. I'm the greatest to ever do it. And oh, there we go. Look at me. Sharpening pencil expert. Something I am much more proud of than I should be, honestly. All right. Let's see. <laughs> So broccoli has two C's in it. Th I mean, this is food class. Why are we doing spelling? It's wrong, but yeah, at least you got the right sound. Baguette. Mmm. I love me a baguette. And beef. At least you didn't put an A there. That would have been pretty funny, though. B-E-A-F. Beef. All right. You got that one right. Congratulations. You get to walk away with like a D. <laughs> it's a pass. Sushi. Hey, you're a genius. <laughs> pineapple <laughs> Oh, that is good. That is really good. Oh, Craig, you never cease to amaze me. And mushroom. Hey, you got that one right. <laughs> Pineapple-o. Oh. It's like, it's like a, a Apollo. The Apollo mission. But much sweeter. The pineapple -o. Okay, someone copied um, someone who didn't know the answer to this. Or the whole class just was absent on the day we learned how to spell baguette. It should end in E for the record. I do know that. Not H. Um, at least you got the mushroom right. And you got the beef right. I still think it would be very funny to have B-E-A-F. And there you go. It's a me, Mario. Yahoo! Monitor the halls. Oh, we got some bullying going on. Oh, that's right. We can like spray them. With <laughs> 
the fire extinguisher that's put chewing gum under desks, sat in crack seat, was kind to new pupils. You know what? The, I feel like being nice to someone who's new at the school, like that erases all of the other bad things that you did, like 100%. And even though the game is mad at me for making that decision, I think you're cool if you're being nice to new people. Through Lou Roll Streamers? What? Why? What the, that's not even a sentence. Remembered PE kit respected their teacher. That's such a vague thing. Like, just go to the principal's office, because I don't know what you're doing. Lou Roll Streamers ever. Streamers. Are we going to tase this girl? Right in the face. <laughs> Oh, I get that bullying is not cool, but tasing is not cool either. It's a bit of an extreme response. Just leave it at that. I'm a Viking. Yeah, I'll watch the ad. Let's go to general knowledge class. I need to uh, brush up on, and I also need to work on my pencil sharpening. I, I got all the pencils, so at least I got that. <laughs> Stacy, one of the most beautiful artist renditions of a man and a woman walking a dog I think I've ever seen. Look at the emotion on the man's mustache. It's glorious. A plus plus. S plus plus. We don't even give out those kinds of grades, but you got it, girl. Draw a man using a telephone. You know what? I see what the game is like. Oh, she's so dumb. She's using. She drew a camera. It's not a telephone. It's a camera. Yes, that's fair. But in this day and age, pretty much every single phone is also a camera. That could just be the latest iPhone. It's just got a big old lens right in the middle of it. And it kind of looks like an old school camera. You know what? I'm going to get docked pay for this, but I think you're a genius. You get an A, even though the game didn't want to give you one. Draw a man carrying five drinks on a tray. You know, you were close. <laughs> just one more. What, you run out of pencil? Like, you just you couldn't quite get that last one? I'm sorry. It's only four. You did. I mean, the reality is, is that she did all the hard part. She just had to draw one more cup. Like, drawing a man like that, holding a tray, I couldn't do that. I kind of feel bad giving her a bad grade. Maybe I should give her a check mark. Let's ask the class some questions that I don't actually know the answer to. Like, what planet is World of Warcraft set on? This is general knowledge curriculum in a standard school? I never played Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Is it Asgard? That sounds right. Tatooine? No. Star Wars. Get out of here. What about this girl in the back? Azeroth. Oh, man. That does sound pretty Warcrafty. What did I say earlier? What was... What, what did I even say? I don't even remember. I said Asgard? No, that's... That's Thor. <laughs> Isn't that, I'm getting Marvel and Warcraft mixed up. Azeroth sounds good. Oh! Somewhere in my brain... Really? Oh, I thought that said World of Warcraft. I literally thought it said Winded World of Warcraft. Stop. The video games are taking over my life. Okay, I I don't actually, it's, it's the 30s. 36? 39? September 1st, 1939? Is the first kid right? Yes. Oh! Oh! Modern history. My high school history class did not let me down. I cannot believe that I actually got that right. Oh, I mean, of course I got it right. I'm the teacher. Also, I'm a Viking. I like how I'm making fun of my students for being dumb. Half of the questions that are getting asked, I don't know the answer to. Don't tell them that. Let's do some TV and film. Friend of Frodo, Ron Weasley. No, that is not right. Isn't it Sam? I'm pretty sure it's Sam. Get out of here. Enemy of Frodo, Voldemort. Um, no. You're getting franchises mixed up and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Enemy of Thor, Thanos. That, that checks the box. I mean, he's not like the only enemy of Thor, but he's pretty high up there. Where Elsa lives, Arendelle. I just know the song. Is that where she sings the song? Let it go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's my version. Let's say yes. Okay. Villain from the Avengers. Was it Loki? It was just Loki? He's he's kind of a, he's he's like a, a gray character. He, he kind of flip-flops which side he's on. We'll say yeah. Enemy of Spider-Man is not Lex Luthor. That's, that's Superman's villain. Get out of here. You get a B. Congratulations. Friend of Iron Man, War Machine. I guess that's true, right? Yes. Captain America's real name, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> no, I know that one. My comic book knowledge is not great, but I do know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Get out of here. Hulk's real name, Bruce Banner. That is true. You guys see the trailer for She-Hulk? She scares me. Anyways, now let's ask some movie questions. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna embarrass me. What is Thor's hammer called in the Avengers movie? I'll know it if I see it. It's Mjolnir. Mjolnir. It's like MJ. It's got a J in there. Claw. <laughs> That's a great name, though. Ah, my mighty hammer. Claw. Valinir? Mm, no, no. I like how the students clap. They get it wrong. It's really kind of messed up. Mjolnir. That's it. That's the one. Mjolnir. What was the tower in Die Hard called? I don't know. For real? Willis. Bruce Willis Tower. If that's really what it was called, I kind of, I'm going to say it's wrong, but I hope it's right. Let's ask the kid in the back. Nakatomi Plaza. That sounds right-ish, but I don't, I really don't know. Let's say yes. I can't believe it. I uh, honestly, I'm tapping into some ancient records in the back of my head. There was cobwebs on those things, or I'm just getting lucky. Let's get sciency, shall we? This is going to be a really great way to embarrass myself. My knowledge of science is very bad. And if you've been watching me for a while, you probably already know that. Tell, okay, well, <laughs> I can tell you that's not a telescope. So at least I got that going for me. Now, alcohol burner, that's just a beaker, isn't it? Or like a measuring cup? What's an alcohol burner? Is that just the little thing that has like the, the small flame that you'd put like one of these things over? I, I don't know, but that seems wrong. And then th that is a microscope. So at least you got that going for you, but that's still a D. <laughs> Triceratops. You tried like it's a dinosaur. That is not correct. Now, this is what I was talking about. This little flame thing. Is that an alcohol burner? You let me know if you know, because I don't. I never actually had a class in all of my schooling where we got to do that kind of stuff. I feel like I missed out, but I don't think that's a frying pan and that is definitely not a thermometer i'm i'm sorry karen you need to work on everything really you're good that's two f's in a row i'm failing my students it's, it's a stegosaurus guys i know that's not really sciency but you should know alcohol burner it is not that's uh i'm failing my students yet all i do is make fun of them and point and laugh really builds their self-esteem fine cheaters all right i can do that i'm very good at this let's be honest you guys really need to be careful who you're cheating from because uh, not the, the sharpest tools in the shed, the brightest knives in the drawer, the sharpest light bulbs in the closet. That's how all those phrases go, right? Let's do some geography. How old is the USA as of 2020? Well, isn't it technically 1776? So I don't know. Do the math. It's definitely not 2400 years old. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm hoping someone does the math for me. 224 years. That seems pretty good. That that seems accurate. That is correct. You done it. Thank you. Thank you for doing the math for me. What is the only major city located on two continents? What does that mean? The only major city located on two continents. Well, I guess technically Europe and Asia are on the same land mass, but I don't, I don't know. Let's see what my students say. Vienna, Austria. That doesn't seem right. Get out of here. Okay. I'm glad that was incorrect. Sydney, Australia. Okay. Australia is a tricky one, right? Australia is a country and a continent, but I don't think that's what the question is asking. Unless the question is just worded really badly. I'm going to say that's a no. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's continue the hunt for the right Istanbul. You know what? Istanbul can be the, the, the right answer. Is that Hungary? Because Istanbul is kind of close to Africa and Europe. You know what? No, oh, he's done it. That's actually, I, I got to look that up. Hold on. It's totally true. I got it right for the wrong reasons though. So it's in Asia and also in Europe. That's awesome. So technically Turkey is Asia and Europe. Congratulations, Turkey, you're cool. And that is a fun fact to know. I just learned something from my own class. Capital of R Russia is not Stockholm. Get out of here. Capital of Colombia is Bogota. Is that yes? Sounded right. Now, if you asked me just like point blank, what's the capital of Colombia? I wouldn't have been able to tell you, but because I have an actual answer to go off of, I can be like somewhere in my brain, that sounds right. Capital of Canada, Ottawa. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Capital of South Korea is not Tokyo. Close, but that's Japan. Capital of Australia is Toronto. Toronto is not even the capital of Canada. It's not even a capital. Get out of here. Capital of Switzerland. 
burn? Um, no. Wait, burn? For real? Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know the capital of Switzerland, apparently. I'm I'm sorry, my Swiss viewers. Seriously. But at least I know now. Capital of China is not Seoul. That's the capital of South Korea. Capital of North Korea is Beijing. Also incorrect. Capital of Turkey, Ankara. Didn't we already establish that Istanbul is the capital of Turkey? Mm. What? I'm I'm bad. I'm I'm bad. Clearly, like I said, I am not qualified to be teaching these students. And maybe I'm finally starting to recognize why they're so dumb.